by traders. We're looking at PTPI. Also small cap that ran today. It was up around 50% in the pre-market. Now, that usually won't be interesting to look at. I mean, it's okay. It's still tradable. But this one ran two days ago. Three days ago, right? One, two on Friday. So basically, this thing had 77 million volume, which is a lot. So it's actually surprising that this is pumping back up. So that makes it a decent short because there's a lot of back holds here, right? Now, let's look at the fundamentals. This is only a $1.7 million market cap company with 1.4 million float. So at this point, this is not really tradable on the short side. Now, they are losing $20 million this year. So, they're they're in need of money, right? So, now, you can if you look at the daily, like, you might think, oh, this is a... No, this is not a resistance here because of the split. The split is 1 to 10. So, this thing is a, has a potential to do what it did, right? So, but it's been a downtrending. You see this? This is just a company with bad fundamentals and they just need money to do what they do i mean they do drugs so they could make a drug that's good and you know blow up but today was a day that had somewhat like it had volume but it didn't have enough volume to make it above this because the volume on this day is much higher right it's almost two times two and a half times bigger right almost right it had about 80 million volume this day. And here we got, today we traded around 25. So 80, 25, right? Anyways, let's look at the intraday. Okay, so this was a multi-day. It could be considered, it's not considered a multi-day runner because a multi-day runner needs to go up every single day and the volume needs to increase so here we had like some crazy some crazy volume come in here right we had a pre-market this was a decent long right because it did this like sell off at the open and then it just got bought up like weakness got bought up right it started consolidating and this is a decent short here right because it's it was topping out you can see that it's topping out because it's trending a lot of volume and the price ain't going anywhere so it's a decent short to take, like you take short here, cover here, but like if this had a bigger float, right? You could still maybe trade it if the volume like goes over a hundred million. And this was getting there. I mean, you could argue that this was a decent short because all the volume got stuck here and then nobody was like ready to take it on another on another move there. So the next day right we have this dormant move because this this day here we had a lot of movement in the market in general so people are just watching those stocks and not paying attention to this one so then today this gaps up right it's like 50 percent. i mean usually that's fine but this is interesting because we have a nice resistance right here right like this whole area like that right it's considered a resistance, so you can short off this area, right? Now, the problem with that is... Like this area, like that, yeah. Now, the problem with this is... It didn't really pump that high, right? It should have pumped in this area, so it's kind of sketchy to hit it this. Like, hit this, like, I would, like... Usually, I would size into this, but... Today was not the day to do that. So, if you move in closely here, you can see it had that pop, right? It had that nice little pop that you can... I mean, usually you want to see anywhere between 30%, right? Like, anywhere between 15 and 35%. Ideally, in the 30% range where you're ready to size in. And this thing got denied, like, instantly at the open, which basically stifled it the whole day but it was grinding sideways and again it's a small market cap it's only like think about it it only needs 
Like you need only like two million dollars to double the price of the stock, right? If you have two million dollars and you press the buy button and you just buy the, the market, you just do a market buy, you will double the price of the stock, okay? <laughs> so that's why it's dangerous to short this. Now you can make the argument, well, look, look, it's tried to break out, but it didn't. But again, right? It didn't push that hard. It got the leader right away. So it looks weak, right? Usually that would be a short uh, trap. So can you really long this thing here? I mean, not really. I mean, you should you would have had to watch it for so long and take a trade around too. You couldn't really. Maybe went long here and got out right there. But there's like resistance here. There's resistance here, right? And all of a sudden it got rounded out. The reason, like I, I say that there's resistance here, but there isn't really because it only takes two million to blast it, right? And this traded like twenty five million, right? Twenty five million dollars. Uh, sorry, twenty five million. And the price is around five right now, so it traded around hundred and twenty five million dollars. And like I said, you only need 2 million to double the price of this. So there's a lot of indecision and like smaller players trying to make something out of this. I mean, they did like bring it back up and got deleted into this area. Like the people finally got a chance to get out. Like most of the back, some mag back holders are sitting there, right? So usually I would say if this was like a 10 million to 15, maybe 20 million float, anything above 10, you can slam it at the open. But because it isn't, you're going to get this kind of thing happen. Because this usually, what would happen is you would, it would hit like that. It would do that, go down, do that, come back, do that, and then just do that, right? Come back down. But it's still holding, so it's not tradable. And for tomorrow, how would you trade this? You just shouldn't trade this, pretty much. That's pretty much my advice on this one. We don't know. There's no news, right? There's zero, there's zero news on this one. They're losing money. They have 42% insider owned, right? So they're probably trying to get out and manipulating the price, right? They're probably trying to sell their shares. I don't know that, but I'm just assuming. Yeah. So this is probably not going to do anything. Probably it's going to gap down tomorrow if, if, I, if I was to guess, right? Yeah, that's pretty much it on this one. It was an interesting little play, but didn't have the heat, you know. It had the it had the potential. It's just there's too much indecision. It was almost like 50-50 like yeah. There was buyers, but no one like people were scared to buy it above here. So, they could have taken this thing to 10 bucks, right? It was easily yeah, they could have easily taken it to 10 bucks, but you you, you can't on this you can't be tr you can't be trading this thing when the float is so small because at any point like whoever buys up the float they can just dump it and then you know they will just delete half the price so yeah super dangerous to trade this but it is it, it, it it's it's closing up strong yeah i think it's going to gap down tomorrow but that's just me yeah that's about it Okay, so yeah, if if any of the information that I'm sharing here, guys, helps you out, just help me out and uh, sub to the channel. It's we're like we're brand new. Well, not brand new in trading, but brand new to the social media. So if you wanna help me out, I'll be putting up some uh, content that's definitely gonna help you out for sure. If you uh, follow the channel, you'll learn a lot. Especially how these little small caps are getting manipulated all the time. Anyways, I hope you guys stayed safe and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.